This video is brought to you by Squarespace. I'm on my way now. Well, this isn't exactly the Las Tyrannus we remembered, huh? I know, we've been here for almost a week. Our plans are to be in Las Tyrannus for over a week, and I don't think we're gonna have one perfectly nice weather day. Well, let us officially welcome you back to uh, beautiful Las Tyrannus. We might sound a little upset, let's call it upset today, because, well, if any of you watch our uh, past Las Tyrannus videos, you know this place usually looks very different than this, but it's not gonna stop us from coming out and filming today. We got lots to talk about, lots changed around here. Yeah, so it's been almost two years since we were here last. We had some issues here last time. You know, you guys know that we absolutely love it here, but this place has had a few problems. So in today's video, we're gonna be discussing some of the good things and some of the bad things, the things you might need to know before you come to Las Tyrannus. So let's just talk about the weather for a minute and a little bit of background for any of you guys that are new around here. In total, we've probably spent about a year in the Dominican Republic. Here in Cap, we actually live in Cabarete. We've been here a lot. Two years ago, we spent a ton of time here. So we do know the weather. We do know what it's like here. And I can say this is probably one of the worst weeks we've ever had here. I mean, it hasn't been terrible. It just hasn't been good and it's yeah. been overcast totally I want to point this out they'll see some blue sky in the background but yeah. what's been happening right is like it doesn't just rain for like a half hour and then it's sunny yeah. it's nothing but gray and just totally unpredictable you just don't know when it's gonna rain which makes it really hard to make plans and we love to film this place we love to show it off in literally its best light and one of our favorite things about this place is the amazing coastline usually the water is crystal clear this is n it hasn't once looked the way it normally looks. You <laughs> no. can go back and watch our other videos from two years ago to see what it's supposed to look like. Because I love renting an ATV. That's like the best thing to do here. And just driving up the coastline, stopping on the beach. We just haven't been able to do that. So for anybody that was here in December, uh, yeah, you know what we're, we're saying. It hasn't been uh, the best couple weeks around the middle. That is for sure. But you guys might notice, I mean, I know it's overcast today. It's probably going to downpour in a little while. There's not a lot of people here. That's one of the biggest things we noticed since two years ago. Yeah, and we were not here in Los Tyrannus in December. Last time we were here in December, what we were actually in Cabarete. So we keep hearing about how many people are here and how busy it's becoming, but it's definitely not reflected in December. That's yeah, you'll see as we make our way throughout the video today, we've never seen it this empty. We know we're right on the cusp of high season, but we did expect more people. But that said, in Cabarete, where we live, there's actually less people there, we noticed too. So not sure what's going on. Maybe yeah, maybe just in general, there's fewer people coming. Pandemics ended and now people are traveling to other places. I don't know. What do you guys think? But speaking of the number of people here, there might not be that many tourists, but it seems like there's still a large number of people that are continuously moving here. The real estate market does seem to be really, really steady. The people that we've met just in the last few days, most of them either live here or moving here, plan to move here in the future. So we haven't met that many people that are just visiting for a week or so. Yeah, we found a bunch of listings here, huh? Yeah, I know. I've been keeping an eye on the real estate market. You guys know that we're, you know, probably not going to buy in Dominican Republic, but we always want, kind of want to. We just don't have like $200,000 sitting around in a bank account. YouTube does not pay that well. So we'd have to like basically sell all, everything we own in order to live here. But, but there is a place for 189000 right now. I know. Like, I would say we always look in Cabarete too and prices there are I'd say quite a bit higher than here. Here I've seen places that I feel like are just a couple minute walk from the beach and they're under 200,000 which I think is really great. Like here this is 189,000. It's somewhere in town and it's a two bedroom two bath. That seems really good to me. We've been trying to figure out why the prices here in Los Tyrannos are actually cheaper than Cabarete and we'll open it up to you guys in the comments. We think it might be the Europeans here. There's a lot of Europeans and we wonder if that helps lower the price. They just refuse to pay the prices well Americans and Canadians pay in Cabarete because real estate is quite a bit more there. It's just interesting because I would argue maybe Los Tyrannos is a more sought after location. I don't know. You guys let us know. So if you are one of those people that is thinking about moving here or buying a place, coming here eventually, there are some things you need to know. And one is that the infrastructure here, I just don't think has kept up with development. Yeah, it used to be a fishing village. <laughs> it did, yeah, and I know, and I think it's grown exponentially, probably in the last 10 years. But like the 
we always see like frequent power outages. That's a huge problem here. I think there's some water issues as well. So all these people coming here, new developments going up, but are they actually putting all the infrastructure into the town they need to keep up with it? I think one of the biggest things we noticed since the last time we're here is a lot of the apartment buildings now have a backup generator. So that's super important. <laughs> Big truck going by. So yeah, backup generators in Las Tiranas are needed. If you don't know, the reason they're needed is the power goes out quite often. In general, the power goes out quite often in the Dominican Republic. It's not just here, but having a backup generator is like absolute key. By the way, if you are thinking about moving here, coming here, looking for properties in the future, I know we've, in other videos that talked about, we do have a realtor that we recommend in the Cabarete, so Sua area. She actually has some contacts here as well. So if you are looking for a good realtor, and you, I know it's kind of like the Wild West realtors here, we highly recommend her. We're gonna put a link in the description below so you can fill out a form and get in contact with her. Before we keep exploring Las Tiranas, we just wanted to say a huge thanks to Squarespace, our longtime partner, for being a sponsor once again. I think you guys know by now how much we love Squarespace. We use them exclusively and we firmly believe they are the best website building platform out there. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that helps you stand out and succeed online. You can easily build your own website using their customizable templates. They literally have something for everyone. But not only can you build your website on Squarespace, you can also sell your own products on Squarespace by creating an online store. Whether you sell physical, digital, or service products, Squarespace has the tools you need to start selling online. On top of that, you can also design and sell your very own custom merchandise using Squarespace. This is a great way to create a passive income stream. You just have to design your products and then production, inventory, and shipping are handled for you. Are you ready to build your own website? Head to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, head to squarespace.com slash delightful travelers for 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. And of course, a huge thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video and supporting creators like us. We've just come over to a place called Las Kikis to get something to eat. We're absolutely starving with all this walking around and talking to you guys. Some of the restaurants here in Las Tiranas are absolutely amazing. We wish we could take some of them, like this one, and Senor Sandwich, <laughs> to put them in Cabaret Day because they're two of our favorites. Every time we try to take you guys to Senor Sandwich, we, they're closed. They're closed when we have the camera only, but trust us, we've been many, many times. The people actually that run the breakfast side of things here at this restaurant used to have a food truck. It was like a Putin food truck, and we went there in another video. Maybe I'll link to it if you guys want to watch it, but we did order some yummy food, and we can't wait to eat it. So they have a really great breakfast menu here. It's hard to decide, but we always try to find things that we can't normally get. This is basically like a better version of a McDonald's breakfast. I definitely mean a better version. They make their own egg McMuffins here, so they have the obviously the English muffin, some cheese, some bacon, and an egg on there. And it comes with a hash browns or a read on the main road here. It's so loud out there. Let's actually try this. Mm, that is so good. It's one of those things that's like really, really, really simple. And I'm like, why don't I make these at home for myself? Because it's just so good. It's like really the perfect breakfast. If you were hungover, it's probably even better, which I am not at the moment, but it's just one of those like, I could eat these like maybe every day. I love that you said at the moment. You got big plans later today. Oh, maybe. <laughs> just look at that sandwich, you guys. I'm telling you, it's so absolutely delicious. I mean, what else do you do though when the weather is not so good? We can't go to the beautiful beaches here. We're just gonna like hang out here, eat some yummy food, maybe go for a beer later. What do you guys do when the weather's not going your way, when you're in a tropical location especially? Do you go in the pool anyway? Do you go to the beach anyway? Do you do what we're doing right now? Or do you just like stay at home and read a book or something like that? <laughs> Let us know because we don't know what to do with ourselves today. The uh, prices around here for food are not that bad at all. That was like $20 or so for everything we had. We didn't even show everything. We had a side of bacon and two chinola juice as well. Yeah, and it included coffee. So you, the prices really aren't that bad. I know they've gone up significantly, probably since the last time we were here, as they have everywhere in the world. So we've heard a lot of people talking about that. But in general, it's still so much cheaper than Canada. Especially. Oh my God. If we compare it to back home, the prices are still so much lower. I know everyone around, uh, especially Los Tiranas and Cabarete, are complaining about rising costs. And hey, I totally understand that. Totally especially if you it. live here full time, you're going to notice it even more significantly. One thing to be aware of, especially here in Las Tiranas, also in Cabaret Day, so many places do not take credit cards, so be prepared to have cash. Just to touch a little more on the, the cost of living and rising costs everywhere, it's certainly not just here, not just Canada, not just the USA, that's for sure. Last year, in case you guys don't know, we literally traveled right around the world, and we noticed it in every single country we went to. I think we hit like 10 
or 12 countries. We noticed it in Thailand, especially Thailand prices were going way up. We noticed it in Italy, we noticed it in Korea, and we also noticed it in one of our favorite countries, Greece. Speaking of Greece, do you see how we got there? You see how I did that, I got us into Greece. We have something exciting happening in Greece and we just want to remind all you guys in case you want to travel with us. Yeah, so we are doing a group trip to Crete, Greece. It's happening in September of this year. It's funny, when we first announced this, it was almost a year away. Now we're actually in in the year of in the, the year. trip, which is really exciting. Because I know for a lot of people, you didn't really want to book something a year out. So now we can tell you we're definitely not a year out. It's time to book it. If you want to come with us, yeah. send us a message. We'll also put the link below in the description. It's all the information, the itinerary, which looks so much fun. I cannot wait we for are, this. We are really hoping that this trip is going to be a success at the moment. It is a confirmed trip. It is happening. But if this one's a success, we're going to do a whole lot more. Maybe yeah. we'll do one here in the DR at some point. But if it doesn't go as planned, then maybe we won't get to do more group trips. All right. Face. You guys know what you got to do. Come with us. I don't know what's going on with this weather, you guys. I know at the start of the video we said, oh, this isn't the type of weather that just clears up as we go. But here, here we are halfway through the video and what's going on? It's starting to clear up. I'm not going to complain about it because that's what we want. But this day was supposed to be 100% chance of showers all day. We even brought an umbrella in the bag back here. So huh, that's what's happening. But look at this. You're starting to see just, just a little pop of that beautiful Lost Tyrannus color, which is why we're here, which is why everyone comes here, which is probably why you're watching the video. The beaches here are the best, some of the best in the entire Caribbean. Nothing beats them. Yeah, I think I can say that right now is literally the best weather we have had the entire time we have been here. I don't even see any majorly dark clouds because lately it's been like, even when the sun comes out, off in the distance it's like super gray and dark and you know the rain is coming. Right now, the day we're forecasted pouring showers all day, it's really nice. And I'm not going to complain about that, but what I will say is that we do try to like somewhat plan out our videos, at least some places we want to go. And we said, in this video, we're going to rent an ATV and drive to some of our favorite beach spots. And obviously that didn't happen, but maybe we could have done it. Yeah, maybe we could have. At the same time, I want to show you guys the reality of things. It yeah. was supposed to be a bad day. We were going to turn the camera on anyway. And here we are, look at this. <laughs> yeah, we had an ATV for an entire uh, time here it wouldn't have been uh, an issue because then you know you could, just could have parked it and taken it out but we didn't want to spend 50 to 60 dollars that's usually what it costs to rent for a day and then you know take it over half hour and then it rains and then we have to take it back and then we just lost that money so it, it's it's just unpredictable I guess all right we're just passing through the uh, cruise ship buildings here in search of some maybe some coffee some caffeine yeah so something to know about Lost Tyrannus is there is very much like an Italian French vibe it feels very European here. Even though we're, we are finding a lot more Americans and Canadians are starting to come here. First time we came, we felt like it was totally <laughs> it was Europe. European. It's totally, it's starting to change, I think, a little bit. But one thing we have find hard to find here is iced coffee. It's just like Europe in that sense. <laughs> yeah, we were going to try to go to the market that used to be right over here. Now it's a sports store. So. Right, so it's, I think, I'm pretty sure it's moved to another area. Let's see if we can find it. Well, we found it and it's absolutely gorgeous here. We are in this courtyard that feels like we could be in the middle of Italy or Spain somewhere. It definitely feels European over here. And we did get an iced coffee, maybe the fanciest one I've ever had. It's served in a martini glass. You know what Check I like? Out. They also give you like little cookies. It's just like you're in I know. Europe. Yes, it's just like Europe, but you actually got an iced coffee. I know in Italy we had a very, very hard time finding iced coffee. They usually would laugh at us if we asked for it, but I appreciate that they serve it here. But back to the amount of people here. Uh, if you look behind you, there's nobody here. Nobody here, I know. <laughs> there was maybe a couple people here earlier, but now it's very, very empty. Again, we are in December. Maybe by the time you guys are watching this, it'll be much busier and hopefully sunny every single day. All right, I'm going for it. I know you guys would as well if you uh, had a little cookie to try with it. <laughs> ah, you can't beat it. Mm. We mentioned though the European feel of Los Tyrannus. It's not the first time we've ever mentioned this in videos. This place is ultra charming and the fact that it has that flair, that European flair, makes it one of our favorite places in all of the Caribbean. Not just the Dominican Republic, you guys. Not at all. In fact, you're not even going to find another place like this in the Caribbean, in my opinion. I know and I understand that places like Old San Juan have like a Spanish feel and all that, but there's something about here that just feels different. It's these courtyards, maybe it's just exactly where we're sitting, but you won't understand it until you get here. The minute you get to Los Tyrannus, you feel it right away. Sometimes you hear French more than Spanish, and that just blows our mind. We just love 
the culture here. It's absolutely one of our favorite places to visit. We also love that it's only three hours from our other favorite place where we live in Cabarete. So that's why we often come to this beautiful place. It's time to show you guys where we are staying. You guys always, always ask us for recommendations on where to stay. If you haven't watched our last video, we're staying at this amazing Pentos in, in uh, Playa Bonita. It was absolutely gorgeous. It's time we are in town, a much smaller mm -hmm. place, but really, really nice. Like it a lot. This, it's called Coral Stone 2. There's a few different coral stones. I think we stayed at one one time before, but I don't think we ever showed it. Right? Yeah, look at the size of this room though. This is a big TV over there. It's actually, check this out. You don't see this too often. Curved television. I don't know if the camera picked it up. Thoughts yeah. on a curved television? I don't know. We actually <laughs> haven't turned the TV on yet, so I don't really have an opinion on it. Maybe by tomorrow, I will know. Now, we said uh, it's December while we're here, so they actually decorated yeah. for Christmas. If That's we had. such a nice touch. <laughs> That's such a nice touch, I know. Big kitchen, though. Big kitchen, and I will say one thing I love about Los Tyrannis, Cabarete doesn't seem to do this as much, and I'm not sure why, because we did say it before, I think there's more Canadians than Americans uh, there. But they always seem to put an oven in, and that's a really nice because it's hard to find. It is. Full-size fridge this way. So you can probably tell this is one big kind of open room, which we really yeah. like. This also folds down into a bed, so that's yeah. nice. And I love that they did this over here. So there's a huge table, bar area, whatever you want to call it. So yeah. great working space. Yeah, there's another space outside. We'll get to that, though. If you're wondering, yes, there's AC everywhere. Which costs extra. So just so you know, again, in Los Duranas, most places charge extra for the electricity just because it's so expensive. So you do have to be careful, but we find it stays really cool in here. I'll show you guys just uh, one of the bathrooms here. We'll walk backwards and you can come in with me. There we go, can I fit you? Yes, so here we go. We got the vanity, toilet, of course full shower, full walk-in shower, and you have one of those um, kind of washer-dryer combinations. You don't see these too often. Again, one of those more, I would say, European things. I know they exist in North America as well, but we don't see them that often. Plus, I wonder how well do they actually dry your clothes? Into the bedroom we go. <laughs> yeah, it's actually a really big bedroom. You can see that there's a monstrous king-size bed in here, and there's still loads of space. And right off the bedroom, you have a kind of a walk-through closet, so tons of storage here. And yeah, another bathroom. So I like the mirror. I like the little kind of fake faux plants. Toilet, vanity, and of course, another walk-in shower. Before we take you outside, I have to show you this. And you might not think this is a big deal, but it is. I don't know if we've ever stayed in a place in Los Tyrannos that has screens. There's oh, screens. Oh, it's the best. Like for bugs. I know, we can actually <laughs> open the doors and have the screen there and not worry about all the mosquitoes coming inside. There I might be love it. some people wondering like, why are we pointing this out? Because it's not that common in Europe and here. <laughs> it, it's really not and I think most of the places don't have screens because maybe they're built by Europeans or by Dominican companies and they don't realize that screens are a thing. I know, it's strange though because there's so many mosquitoes in Los Tyrannos and sometimes there's dengue outbreaks exactly. so you kind of need this glorious screen but let's check out the patio. So this patio is absolutely massive. It's basically an entirely other room. You could totally pimp it out if you wanted to. They have a couple of chairs on one end, a big dining table over here and also this is very common in Los Tyrannos to have these like um, sunshades. Sunshade. It's really, really cool. They're perfect. From in here, it might look kind of weird. It almost looks like a wall in the camera, but you can kind of see through it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, you can put it up. It just has a little, like, windy thing, and it goes up. Yeah, and if we own this space, I think you see some chairs back there. Like, I'd have a big old couch here. Me too. I mean, you could, geez, you could work out back yeah, <laughs> on this deck. Yeah, probably turn this into a whole room. <laughs> One of the best parts, for sure, is this beautiful pool. It comes in extra handy today. Well, it was supposed to rain all day. The sun's still trying to come out. We don't feel like we can go to the beach, because you know what's going to happen if we go to the beach it will definitely rain so we're just kind of kind of park it here for a while and sneak to the pool and if it rains we come right back up trying to play it smart today kids so the price here isn't too bad it's 85 us we paid per night uh, I guess it's kind of considered high season and I'm not sure if you were renting this in like January February and March it might be more expensive you never know you'd have to play around with the dates on Airbnb we will put a link in the description below if you want to check out this place but also I think if you start looking on Airbnb you're gonna find a lot of units in this building on there because I feel like I saw a whole bunch when I was looking to me, I think it's good value for what you get. We yeah. can walk to town within it's five or close. 10 minutes. Very, very close. You get a really modern building. We have a pool. We're about two minute walk to the beach. Yeah. It's a lot of perks for 85 yeah, bucks. Yeah, lots of restaurants <laughs> around. It's great. Let's talk about everyone's favorite thing, the internet. Now, we were not here since about one and a half years, two years, and we have noticed that the internet overall in this town has improved. The last time we were here, we just had all this bad luck. It just kept happening. Either there was no internet, it was dropping. 
they had internet, but it wouldn't work. And for people like us that are digital nomads and put out YouTube videos, that's no one, no good. <laughs> yeah, and one thing that goes along with that is a lot of the buildings here don't have backup power. In Cabarete, it's really, really common to have generators for when the power goes out. And they usually advertise it in their listings if a place is for sale, or if uh, it's for rent, they usually say that. Here, they don't seem to advertise it as much. <laughs> we noticed here there's a generator out front, which is great. Yeah, I know we mentioned it earlier in the videos, but backup generators seem to be almost the norm with a lot of the new buildings. Buildings. And the internet, we can say in the past two spots, this location and the last, it's really good. I'm talking louder because there's a truck going by. All right, I think it's uh, safe now. It's quiet. We'll go back to what we were saying. So internet, that's changed for the better. So that's know great. that if you're coming here, if you're a digital nomad, you can absolutely work here. I think there's even cafes, like kind of digital nomad, uh, kind of working collab cafes where you can go to as well. So that's huge plus. That is huge. One thing that has not changed that we've noticed is that there seems to be and I want to say this as kindly as possible, but a little bit of an attitude from some of the expats, especially people that have been here a long time. I feel like they have like a feeling of ownership over this place. Like we found it first and we don't want you coming yeah. here. So um, this is all public information. If you join the uh, Everything Lost Torrenas Facebook group, you'll see that right away. Um, it was told to us before we ever came here and we were like, what do you mean? I don't understand them. We got here and oh, you do kind of see it. So just know that if you're coming here, there's definitely just, a little bit of an attitude of we found it first we don't want anyone else to be here and, and that's definitely not everybody it's not means. everybody uh, the other thing we notice is like uh, some folks that we do know here or that we just run into will say like why do you live in Cabarete no one lives in Cabarete everyone's moving to Las Tranas it's so much better well here they, and they'll go out of their way sometimes to actually say a bunch of negative things about Cabarete I actually heard someone say you can't even eat on the beach in Cabarete because sand gets in, sand gets in your food that's not true, we eat on the beach every single day. The big thing here is, the reason why we want to mention this is like in Caporete, this doesn't happen. Mm -hmm. People in Caporete actually don't kind of crap all over Los Terrenos. And guys, we love both places. I know we live in Caporete, we're not trying to crap on this place. We're just being honest, we're being completely real. If that doesn't happen over there. Cabaret is, I think, a little, a tiny bit more open. And here, I'll read you a comment just to demonstrate this, because we got a really interesting YouTube comment today. And we don't often um, kind of point this out. I'm not going to say the name. I'll blur it out. But I should, because it's a public comment, if you want to find it. But it said, walked by you two yesterday on the Malacon in Las Tiranas. Took me a sec to realize I recognized you guys. And I needed to be somewhere. I'll say, hey, next time. It's been a wet week, hasn't it? Well, that is very true. <laughs> While I imagine you'll do another video about this place, it would be so nice if you didn't. It's hard to keep special spots quiet these days. Happy travels. Well. <laughs> so for one, it's been pretty quiet. As we pointed out, there's not that many people here. There are, uh, I guess, a lot of people moving here, but we haven't seen that many tours, so I don't think we're negatively impacting mm -hmm. Los Tyrannus in that sense. I but so one thing a bunch of people have pointed out to us, everyone we've basically talked to has been like, have you seen the Vogue magazine? article on this place. Yeah. That, if anything's going to be detrimental on people coming here, it's stuff like that, not us. Here's the, here's the difference. Mm -hmm. And first of all, would you ever run it up to anybody else in the street and say, please don't come here and do your job? Mm -hmm. I don't think you would in real life. I just want to say that comments, backhanded comments, like sometimes they can get to us and any YouTuber. And um, I just want to be completely honest and, and real about that. It's like, hey, you guys are so awesome, but don't film here because we don't want anyone else to be here. It's just, it's an odd thing to say to someone we find. People that find our videos on Lost Tyrannus usually know about the place first. Yeah. That's what's important to remember. They know about the location, then they come and watch our videos to find out more, find out more info. So we, I'd love to think that we're responsible for bringing <laughs> thousands of people here, but newsflash, we are not. All right, back in, uh, back inside. Now, uh, again, I just want to reiterate that we absolutely love this place. I know we just went on a, a little bit of a ramp, but it's that comment that got us <laughs> worked up. Sometimes they get to us, but it's important to point out. Maybe we're extra cranky <laughs> from the weather. <laughs> it's probably the weather, but it is important to point out that this place is a dreamland. Las Tyrannus is mm -hmm. special. If you're watching this thinking about coming here, do it. It's amazing. It's the perfect mix and you're not going to find another place like this in the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, and I just wanted to go a little forward a little bit. We are actually going to be back in Cabarete for a bit and then we're going to be exploring some other islands. But after that, we're coming back to Las Tiranas for I think a couple weeks. That's the plan at the moment. So yeah. hopefully a couple months from now, you're going to see more videos where we really get to showcase how beautiful this place <laughs> yeah, is. Yeah, better weather. And now we did, well, you just mentioned some other islands. There are other islands in other countries. We're going to some other places in the Caribbean. We're going to go on like a mini 
Caribbean adventure to some island hopping smaller adventure. islands. Going to try to island hop. It's very hard to do in the Caribbean. Yes. We hope you guys do follow along with that. I don't know if it's going to be the next video yet or not. I feel like there might be one or two more videos mm -hmm. in the middle. We'll and see. right after that, we're going to be back in the DR, like Anna just said. So if you guys got this far today and you're wondering who we are, it's Trevor and Anna, Delightful Travelers. Thank you so much for watching. Hit like, hit subscribe. Let us know what you guys think about all of this. This, be nice. Be nice. The whole Las Tarantas area. Do you like it? Do you think it's beautiful? Let us know what you do on a kind of a crappy yeah. Caribbean day. Yeah. And what are your rainy day tips for a normally sunny destination? And what are your tips for ignoring the negative comments? <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's it. From Las Tarantas, wishing you delightful travels. See you soon.